Hello everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and I know, I know, I know. Why am I picking up another show? I was scrolling through Crunchyroll to see if there was anything new that I could pick up in the future. Uh, there was one, uh, I think it was called I'm 8th in Line, Are You Kidding Me? Something like that. It's another isekai. But I didn't know if I wanted to pick that one up or not. Sorry, I was scratching my leg. And then I found this one. Now, I think all of you guys know that most of the time, like 9 times out of 10, when it comes to isekai, it's always a male that's always transported to another world. This time, however, it's a woman. However, from what I can tell, it looks like she has a lot of female companions. So this won't be a fantasy reverse harem, which would have been nice. That would have been nice. I'd love to see some new dang reverse harems. But no, apparently I'm guessing they don't want to make those. I'm thinking of making my own light novel. <laughs> Just so I can have my own little reverse harem. If you guys like that idea, let me know and I might submitted at some point. I don't know. Anyway. Whew. Uh, let's see. The title of this show is... I'll make sure I get this right. Didn't I say... Didn't... Ah, dang it. What was it called? Ooh, five more views, yay. Okay, now what was this thing called? Hold on, I'm getting a crunchy roll real quick. Didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life? Yeah, that's kind of a interesting title. Anyway, it features the main character. Dang it, what, what, what did she say her actual name was? Avella, something like that. Avell, she's like a noble, but she's going by the alias of Mile. She is a obviously isekai from another world where she ended up dying in the classic isekai trope of pushing someone out of the way of a speeding vehicle and dying in the process. However, this time she actually asked the god person that she was talking to to make her abilities average for that world. She just wanted to live a simple, ordinary life and have, you know, simple, ordinary friends. Stuff like that. Well, he did make her average. Average being the average of the weakest monster to the strongest monster, which is an elder dragon. So you can imagine how strong she is. And she arrives in the town where the Hunter Academy is that she's wanting to apply to. She ends up meeting a few people. Ooh, I saw popcorn. <laughs> My nephews wanted popcorn, I guess. Mmm, popcorn smells so good. Anyway, I get distracted. She runs into a few people. A night, she wasn't sure of whether it was the person was a male or a female. And I can kind of see her skepticism turns out it was a woman and she almost ends up walking down the slimy part of the city thankfully a girl a, ma a girl with the staff stopped her and Mavis automatically thinks she's a sundere because of her attitude and obviously the girl has no clue what the heck she's talking about I'll take the yellow popcorn he took the wrong kind Anyway, um, then she ends up running into another girl in the market who seems like a nice person. Later on, she ends up finding that the girl who was helping to run the inn that she was staying at was missing. And since they had had issues in the past where children were going missing, she thinks that Lenny was taken. So she goes off in search of her. 
she ends up running into some bad guys and Mavis the knight shows up and helps her well they help each other and they find out that they were each searching on searching for the kids as well after interrogating the bad guys they find out where the kids are being held and they get jumped by some more guards however the magic girl from before dang it what was her name Rainer? I can't even remember what her name is. It starts with an R. Crimson something. I can't remember. And they find the room they gotta go to. They unlock it. And we find that the kids are all there. Including the woman from before. That was really nice. It was... Dang it, what was her name? It was Mavis. Mile. And I can't remember what her name is. Dang it. Anyway... She runs off worried because she doesn't see Lenny anywhere, and she's worried they wrote, you know, the worst case scenario that Lenny was, uh, <laughs> in a very bad, uh, position right now. And it turns out that the one in charge kidnapped all the kids, not to sell them off for money, not to prostitute them, but just to have a, a harem of beautiful girls. I was just as confused as the others were. What? She had no ill will towards the kids. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this woman? She even made a comment about Miles' chest size because she didn't have a chest. She's only 12, so she's still growing, obviously. And this got her mad enough to where she used her magic and made a gigantic pathway her magic took of destruction. Knocking all those guys out. And she ran off thinking that essentially those they will have not, want nothing to do with her. And when she goes to the Hunter Academy, she turns out she's going to be roommates with them. So this could be interesting. I do wonder if they'll introduce any other guy characters in this besides what few we've seen. Anyway, this has the potential to be something interesting. Though it took them dang near long enough to explain how she got into that world. Because usually that is at the beginning of the episode. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.